Hey guys, Richard from Elite Tackle. Today I want to talk to you about the two major differences there is between floating and sinking stick baits, and the reasons why you'd use these lures to chase pelagic fish. Please enjoy this information and I hope it helps you target your next big trophy fish. So the two lures I've decided to look at today up close is the floating Street Fighter 160 gram and the sinking Street Fighter 155 gram. Both look very similar, but they both have very different purposes and actions. As the name suggests, the floating stick bait is designed to sit on the surface water and usually with the tail section slightly just under the water. Usually it's a slow downward sweep of the rod that is best suited to this lure. As the lure pushes forward along the water surface, the front nose section of the lure tries to find the water and digs in and often causes an awkward splash. This awkward splash is actually what the pelagics find irresistible. After the lures start to move through the water column, the stick bait will usually have an S-shaped side-to-side swimming motion like this until it returns back to the water surface ready for your next sweep. The rod required to work these lures needs to be quite specific and needs to be balanced to the actual lure weight. So from this, a floating stick bait can only be used in calm to medium conditions, anything else and the lure will blow out. The only exception to this rule is, is if the day is a calm day, but there's a big pressure edge and you, you can't use a floating stick bait in that situation because if you cast it into where the water's pushing on, then usually the stick bait will float on top and be carried out of the zone too quickly and you can't work the lure properly. Therefore, a sinking stick bait is a better option. So let's look at the sinking stick bait. The sinking stick bait is generally used in medium rough to rougher conditions and it is designed to obviously sink in the water column. Quite often when the seas are rough, the bait fish will sit underneath the choppy water up high and therefore the sinking stick bait, you can cast it in, get it down into that zone under the choppy water where the bait fish are and quite often that's where the predator fish will come up and hit your sinking stick bait. So generally the sinking stick bait can be used either fast or slow, but it also has another great ability that once you've cast it into the zone, you can actually do a countdown method, count the lure down into the water column, and each time adjusting how far down in the, in the depth of the water column you go, and therefore reaching different levels to maybe find that waiting predator fish. So I hope this has been useful for you guys and you can see the difference between a floating stick bait and a sinking stick bait. I really would appreciate if you leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and cheers. Okay, so I hope you found this video interesting and maybe even informative. It might have even given you some tips and tricks to help you on your next fishing adventure. Please don't forget to subscribe to our Elite Tackle YouTube channel. So click on the subscribe button below this video so you don't miss out on all the hot tips and tricks and secrets and even great video footage that I'm sure will help you become a better sports fishing lure angler. Now it's up to you. You're going to watch the latest video we've just put together of some awesome action of GTs being hooked up in our local waters or what about the trip we just did to Fiji chasing monster dog to tuna on jigs. Let me know by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.